Hello, lovely people. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our series known as Signs in Medicine. In previous videos, we have talked about the Homan sign, Koenig sign, Brudzinski sign, Obstetrics hand sign, Gynecologist hand sign. Today, it's time to talk about Murphy sign. We use this to diagnose cholecystitis when your gallbladder is on fire. This is my playlist. Please watch these videos in order. Today's video is a very quick review of the original cholecystitis video, which you can find on my hepatology playlist on YouTube. Where is your liver and gallbladder? Right hypochondrium, right upper quadrant. Here's the right hepatic duct from the right lobe, left hepatic duct from the left lobe. They join together and they form the common hepatic duct. Common hepatic duct is gonna unite with the cystic duct, which is the duct of the gallbladder. And now the cystic duct plus the common hepatic duct, they unite together to form common bile duct or CBD. Not the Joe Rogan one. This joke is getting old. And then the common bile duct is gonna combine with the pancreatic duct and they will open together in the posteromedial aspect of the second part of the duodenum of the small intestine of your gut. Types of gallstones were discussed before in my cholecystitis video. If I have hemolysis, the stones appear black. If infection, they appear brown. If I am fat, fertile, febrile, female in my 40s with 55 kids, they are yellow cholesterol stones. Here are the risk factors for cholesterol gallstones. Fat, fertile, female in her 40s. If you want to know why, check out my cholecystitis video. Pathogenesis of cholecystitis. First of all, you gotta know that the cholecystitis happens when the stone gets impacted in the cystic duct, because now the gallbladder will not be able to drain. Okay, and this happens in many steps. First, contraction, thanks to CCK, especially after a fatty meal. Then impaction, then the bacteria comes, because every time there is stagnation, it invites bacteria and bacteria can cause perforation, this is when it gets really bad. That's an emergency, of course. And then when it perforates, pew, it can cause peritonitis with rebound tenderness, guarding rigidity, or it can cause fistula between the gallbladder and the small intestine. We call this cholecystoenteric fistula. Cholecysto is the gallbladder, enteric is the small intestine. If Medicosis has helped you this year, please consider buying me a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash Medicosis. Thank you so much for your support. Clinical features of cholecystitis. Fever, right upper quadrant pain, right upper quadrant tenderness, right shoulder pain. This is, of course, referred pain. As you know, referred pain is a viscerosensory reflex. Right upper quadrant guarding rigidity rebound tenderness if you inflame the peritoneum. And this is a visceromotor reflex. And then positive Murphy sign. We have two types of Murphy sign. There are two Murphy signs, not one, two. The first one is clinical, using your hand physical exam. The second one is ultrasonographic, using the probe of the ultrasound. I can touch your gallbladder with my hand, and it's gonna hurt, or I can touch it with the ultrasound probe. And now to the Murphy sign. Most people do not know how to do it because most people will do it with the right hand. Bad idea. It's best done with your left hand. So, of course, you stand on the right side of the patient. Okay, the patient is lying down. Use your left hand. Okay, lay the lower border of your index finger with the lower border of the last rib or the costal margin. At that moment in time, your thumb is lying over the gallbladder. Now, the next step is very important. You will oppose your thumb inwards, some opposition action, as if you're making a thumbs down sign. Press down with your thumb. Ask the patient, hey, George, what up? Take a deep breath for me, please. And George will try to do it. <gasps> It hurts and George will stop breathing mid inspiration. This is your positive Murphy sign. The patient moans at mid inspiration. To make sure that George is not trying to deceive you, repeat it with a placebo maneuver. Now I'm trying to get a negative test. Do not press your thumb. Repeat the test. Hey, George, take a deep breath for me. George now should be able 
to complete and finish the inspiration. So when I press on your inflamed bladder, it hurts. But when I'm not pressing on it, it should not hurt. Now let's review cholecystitis from Picmonic. As you see, here is an inflamed gallbladder, cholecystitis. Where is the stone? The stone is impacted and stuck in the cystic duct. More bacteria, more inflammation, and you repeat the cycle. Risk factors are here. Female, fair, fat, fertile, in her 40s, and there is flatulence. Why? Because remember the fatty meal, right? Go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis for more than 1,400 mnemonics like these. And by the way, these are animated, like this is a video that you play, it's not just a picture. More doozy videos like these is found in my hepatology playlist. How do we treat peptic ulcer disease? You will find the answer in my Utacoids pharmacology course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. Learn about the gut, cyclic AMP, serotonin, histamine, etc. And for a limited time, get a 40% discount towards everything on my website. Just use promo code KIDNEY. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.